hey guys welcome back to my channel i am your girl nikki d and if you are new here hey girl hey thank you for clicking on the video so y'all know what we here to do right we are here to talk about the new vanessa myricks yummy skin serum skin tint came out just in time for summer right so they had a Sephora had a rouge sale and we got it first and I purchased it online. That, and that's the only thing I hate about a lot of the Nessa Myrick stuff. You have to purchase it online. Um, this is my first complexion product that I have from her. But yeah, I was unsure of the color and I watched some videos about people and they're finding the colors in her her neutrals are really neutral and the warms are really warm. So I was a little concerned, but I got my stuff and it came quick. You know, normally like Sephora used to guarantee two day delivery and you get it like in five days, six days, but this came quick. Like I ordered it on a Saturday and I got it on Monday. Like it came really, really quick guys. So I'm excited. It's a skin tint, serum skin tint. And I got the shade number 11 based on what I saw online. I do have another complexion product. I lied. I bought the bomb, but I bought the universal bomb. I didn't buy the color bomb because I'm normal to dry. And I know it's for more oily girls. And I'm like, uh, I still might try it depending on how the bomb works. So I want to use that as a primer on some of my more radiant foundations. So once I see how the bomb works on my skin, then I'll go into maybe purchasing the other. But let's get into this video. Oh, oh, subscribe to my channel. If you like these videos, you see something you like, you want to stay here. Because, you know, we it's a vibe over here. It's a vibe, girl. It's a vibe. So subscribe and click your notifications. So you'll be the first to know when I post a video. All right, back to our normally scheduled program here. Let's see what it says about the Nessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint. It says, this is Yummy Skin Tint Serum Skin Tint Foundation with Peptides Plus Ceramides. It um, retails for $36 at Sephora. And how much do you get? You get 1.58 ounces. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's light coverage. It's vegan, hydrating, radiant finish, and fragrance free. That's what it says. It says it's a hydrating and smoothing skincare infused skin tint that provides light coverage and a skin like radiant finish. That's what it says. It says it's vegan collagen peptides, visibly smooth skin texture and plump fine lines. Ceramides strengthen, care for and protect skin barrier. Cactus extract, an antioxidant booster that hydrates and soothes. So it's a skin tint filled with skincare, which I know a lot of people are on the fence about that. They like to have their skincare separate from their, their uh, makeup and I'm okay. Like, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with skincare in my foundations. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I didn't, you know what? <laughs> I didn't see how many shades they have here. Um, her shade range is, eh. It looks like there's 16 shades, but it's a skin tint. So, you know, you can be, over you can pretty if you're between shades you can probably find a shade that's what i had to do because it looked when i went to shade finder for all of her complexion products there's never a shade for me so i kind of have to choose one as closest to my complexion so hopefully this number 11 will work all right so let's get into it it comes in this little nothing all of her this is her normal color this earthy brown bronzy color to all of her her um her line again number 11 
and this is what it looks like. It's plastic. This is a squeezy tube. I like the little bronzy, this little thing here at the top. You can see the shade through there. I'm going to have to use my hands today. I didn't bring my little... This is the squeezy tube. This is what it looks like. So, today... Don't you hate when people pop their lip? I'm sorry, y'all. I pop my lip sometimes. So, today... <laughs> We go on commando. Now on my channel, commando means no primer. Yes, I said it. No primer. There will be no primer today, okay? Because when I tried it on yesterday, right, to make sure it's the right color, I saw that it dried down kind of matte, even though it says it's radiant. So I decided... I'm not going to wear a primer. So we going to see. Got high hopes for you. <laughs> so yeah, we going to go to Commando. Yeah, I'm li yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living my life La Vida Loca today. No primer. So let's just get into it. It's kind of thick. This is the color. This is 11. I am going to use my Juno microfiber sponge today i don't know when this thing is gonna go away i wish it would just go away already i don't know if i'm gonna regret this <laughs> by not wearing a primer uh um mm -mm. hopefully i don't regret not wearing a primer today that was one pump. Well, half a squeeze. And I didn't even <laughs> finish that side, but that's okay. I'm trying to be less is more, right? But it's a sponge, and I figure it's going to shear it out some. Initially, this is really glowy, y'all. Oops. <laughs> It is really glowy. I can say yesterday when I, I tried it, it looked more olive. I can see more olivey in the neutral because um, this number 11, I was torn between 11 and 12, right? So 11 says tan to dark skin with neutral olive undertones. So when I tried it yesterday, I could really see the olivey undertones, but looking at it today, it's like it's blending in pretty well. Just excuse that little thing that won't go away. It's blending in. I can't really see too much olive today. Like I saw yesterday. And I hear less is more. Less is more. So I'm trying to be less, but I feel like I need another little, another little squeeze. Y'all, this is real glowy and I put on my, I have on my skin, um, care, you know, my skin, my, my SPF and everything. I wash my face and. It dried down so mad yesterday when I tried it. It fooled me. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more. It's fooling me. It's, well, it's capping for the video. <laughs> because I promise you, when I put this on, but I did apply it with my hands yesterday. When I put this on yesterday, I promise you, I'm like, oh, this is going to be matte. So I might not need a primer. So that's what prompted me not to do i'm like you know what i'm gonna go commando i'm not gonna do a primer i'm just going to go au natural and i guess you it's the skin tint so i, I guess you can you know I, um i know i say i don't mind glowy skin but i don't know what's going on with my skin right now all these little visitors 
but on camera i can see the um the green but looking at it here in my mirror and this is what it you can barely see it on my hand it's kind of kind of smeared it out but the color match looks pretty good I don't know how many squeezies I did, but I'm not going to do much more. I don't know what's going on. Though. Oh, <laughs> but the color is pretty good. It is definitely um, glowy and I'm a dry girl and it's really, really glowy on my skin. You can see how my skin is glowing, right? I don't want to look like I stuck my face in a pot of chicken grease. That's what I get. That's what I get. I should have put on a primer. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You live and you learn, right? Okay, guys. So this is the final, final look, which <laughs> is the same look as before, right? I just um, comb my hair. You know, sometimes when you comb your hair, it makes it look, look, look totally different. But this time it didn't. Because <laughs> I look the same. Um, Y'all, I don't like this powder clumping up under my eyes. Ugh. But um, I am looking a little glowy. I am. It's not looking matte. And again, this is with no primer. So I'm sure had I put it, and I usually will wear a mattifying primer underneath like my MAC um, mattifying primer, which would take away the shine a little bit. It doesn't over mattify your um your skin so i would still had a little shine but not as much but i am shiny um i think number 11 is a great oh my gosh i have dandruff oh what is going on oh, lord have mercy okay y'all i like y'all didn't see that i like you see it you know, see, you don't, you do know, see that. Okay. But, um, yeah, I will check in with you guys right now. It's about, um, it's 1153. So I am work. I'll be working today. Um, I'll probably run out and get lunch, you know, do little things. I have some meetings and I have to be on zoom. If I'm going to be looking this shiny on zoom, but I didn't want to wear a primer because I said it dries down matte. I don't need a primer. That's what I get, right? But that's okay because we're going to work it out. So this is a good way to know on regular, on your normal skin what it will look like with no primer. So it looks glowy, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad, you know. I'm not mad. But we'll see how it holds up. I am liking the color. I think the color was a good match and it actually kind of warmed up as it sits on the skin. Um, I don't see it as neutrally as I did before. So it's kind of warm, but uh, yeah. So let me go ahead and get my day started. I will check back in within a couple hours just to see you know, what this looks like. I can say, yes, it is a light coverage. I'm thinking you can build it up. I just didn't want to put on a lot today because again, I'm I'm at work and I don't, maybe if it was a Saturday on the weekend, I might've built it up a little bit more to get a little more coverage, but it's a skin tint. Like literally yesterday I put this on with my hands and it looked great. And I just put it on because I wanted to see if the color matched. I just put it on with my hands and it, it looked great. And maybe next time I'll just try it with my hands and, you know, just do a little something and tap, tap some powder on it if I need to go some. Okay, I got to go. See, I'm about to. I just keep talking every time I say I'm going to go. What is wrong with me? All right, guys. So I want to check in with you guys a little later, let you know how this is wearing. If I'm still as glowy as I am now or did it, it die down a little bit. And again, this is me with normal to dry skin. So, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, guys, I wanted to check in. It's about 630, so I've had this on about, about six hours now, 
and you can see this blush is still blushing honey but this is again with no primer today i have not blotted oh yes i did i did blot um with the powder brush that i used i did use that but i'm still kind of shiny it looks kind of skin tinty after six hours doesn't look bad it's still looking like skin i should have used one pump of that um blush because it's very pigmented but i just wanted to check in and let you know how i look hey guys i am back for my last check-in it is right now 9 16 so i've had this on for almost nine hours today and i did a check-in i believe at 6 30 and this is what i look like right now um all kinds of oily <laughs> um we're not even talking about the eyes because you know how I feel about my eye situation. I already started the process of the return that um powder from Sigma because I just have too many powders and I have never, ever, ever had a problem like that with any of my powders clumping under my eye. That was ridiculous. But um, as far as the, the foundation, so note to self, we are not going commando. <laughs> Again, we will put on a primer. And guys, I am normal to dry. And you see how radiant I look, how oily. And it looks more oily on, on, a, on a monitor than it does in the camera. But I am a little, a lot oily. Um, I cheated a little bit, y'all. I did. I did put a little more foundation on my cheeks. Because, baby, this... um. This Juvia's place is very, very, very pigmented. I should have just did one ooh, instead of two. See, I was being grown and I did two. Oh, y'all, it's thundering and lightning. The weather here is awful. That's probably why I'm so sleepy. But um, yeah, I did put a little more on my, my cheeks to, um, to kind of tone it down because I just looked like I was blushing all day <laughs> real bad. So... So I did cheat with that. And I did, I actually, I did blot with this same powder brush. I didn't put any more powder on, but I am really, really glowy. Really, really glowy. Um, I will definitely use a matt my mattifying primer the next time I use this. But as far as nine hours go, for a skin tint, I don't think it's bad. Like, I would definitely use a um, a primer. If you have oily skin, I would definitely use a primer. <laughs> but to kind of cut down on the glow. But for a skin tint, I, I really don't think it's bad. I think the color match turned out really good, which I like. I, I really like it. it. It feels like my skin. Um... You know, to people like, oh, it I don't, I'm not too technical about, mm, let's see. No, I'm just looking in the, the mirror here. It feels like my skin. It's just this eye situation that's, that's throwing me off. And it is not, that's not the makeup, the foundation's fault. But I think it wore really well today considering a skin tint held up for 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 nine hours right it is again i'm a, I'm a little but this is me and i'm when i say i blotted i didn't put any powder on i just did the powder i did the, just like i'm doing now i did just like this now i probably should have put more powder on let's see what happens when i put a little bit more powder on Okay, not so bad. But yeah, I, I would su definitely suggest wearing um, a primer, a mattifying prim uh, primer with this or else, yeah, it's going to be really, really oily. But 
I, I like the foundation. I like the way it wore. Uh, I The color I picked was really, really good. And I don't think it broke up much. Your, um, my shade twin number 11 will be a good match for you. All right, ladies and guys, thank y'all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And remember, if you love this video, even if you liked it, subscribe to my channel <laughs> and click the, and click the like button and click the notification bell so you can get my videos first so you can get my videos first y'all i get so goofy when i'm sleepy but yes thank you guys go out and get it